With change comes remarkable opportunity. Today, it's important that you don't just think about the company that you are, but you imagine what you could be. I'm Jeff Wong, and I'm the Global Chief Innovation Officer at EY. I've been traveling around the world over the past few years, talking to boards, C-suites, government officials, academics, and you know the question that they consistently ask me is how do you lead in a time of uncertainty? The default message is fear. Fear of being irrelevant, fear of being obsolete, fear of losing your job. Audit and tax are our two largest businesses, and the world's telling us that these are going to be severely disrupted, telling us to fear technology because technology is driving the uncertainty and change in the world. At EY, we look at this as an opportunity. Leadership today is about harnessing dynamic change. To have impact, you need to build a leadership team that has grit, perseverance, that can tackle complex problems, that understands the world is changing and isn't afraid of it. You have to build technology and innovation into the DNA of every decision that you make across all aspects of a company. It's the only way to compete in a world that's moving so quickly and with disruption as a matter of course in the environment that surrounds us. On my global innovation team, we have mathematicians and topologists helping our artificial intelligence engineers. I've got cryptographers and astrophysicists working alongside our blockchain folks. We also have audit, tax, and advisory experts because we know that bringing these diverse minds together is what makes us stronger. It delivers better outcomes. At EY, we hire 65,000 people a year and 19,000 interns on top of that. What I bet you didn't know is that in our firm, we have 18,000 data nerds, including 2,000 data scientists. We are unexpected. We're getting the right insights at the right time for the right amount of time. Through Gig Now, we've built a talent marketplace because we know that sometimes people want to work with us, but they want to do it on their terms. Too many teams around the world think about their people like HPUs, human processing units. And their only question is, how do I replace an HPU with a CPU? That is not how we look at it here. Yeah, we do automation. This year, we've automated 2.1 million hours of repetitive tasks. We've implemented 2,000 bots. We have a chatbot that's answered 900,000 questions year to date. But it isn't about automating people's time. The question we ask is, how do we use technology to make our people superheroes? What did we do with that 2.1 million hours? We reinvested it. We reinvested it in new revenue streams, new businesses we could be a part of. We reinvested it in asking and answering harder and better questions for us and for our clients. When we hear words like artificial intelligence and blockchain, we think, how can we empower our people? How can we give them Wonder Woman's lasso or Batman's Batmobile if we in the leadership at EY didn't pursue technology solutions as aggressively as we are, our people would be demanding it from us. That's who we have. People who are passionate and motivated. People who want to build something big. And we're going to do everything we can to enable them. You may see us as a 150-year-old audit and tax firm, but I see more. I see us as a firm built on data, trust, and relationships. And that's an amazing opportunity in front of us. Actually, that's what brought me to EY. If I can help you make better decisions, I can help build a better working world and build a world that works better. This is our opportunity to do things that no one has ever imagined. 